everyone, and welcome to another episode of Monkey Around Reviews. Today we have the 8-man dual dash cam model C880. This thing is two cameras in one. It's got a 2K camera on the front that looks out of the car, and it gives you a 170 degree angle. And then it also has a 1080p camera on the actual DVR looking at the drivers and the passengers, and it gives you 140 degrees of an angle. This camera, it can use up to a 128 gigabyte SD card. It does not come with an SD card, so you'll need to get one. They recommend nothing smaller than 32. So I actually have one right here. It's got a built-in 2.3 inch display, so you can see what's going on right on the camera. It's got built-in G sensors, loop recordings, parking monitors, and an optional GPS support. All features that you expect from any dash cam, all in here. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. So the first thing I have here is a little welcome card and an instruction manual. And then the DVR itself. This dash cam is really small. I mean, if you take a look at it, it's smaller than my hand. Here on the front is the lens that shoots out of the car. Once again, this is a 2K lens and 170 degree uh, angle. On the back here you have the 2.31 inch screen and then right here is the other camera. This is the 1080p camera that shoots in the vehicle and it gives you a 140 degree angle. As you see this thing can move so you can angle it depending on where you have this mounted on your windshield. Here on the side are the buttons. You have a power button, you have a menu button, you have a microphone button, and then you have the record button. Those are the four buttons here on the side. On the top, you have the mounting hole and you have the GPS plug. On this side, you have the USB port for power and the SD card slot and a reset slot. And the nice thing to notice here is this has been updated to modern technology. It's got a USB-C plug right here. There is a protective coating here that you can peel off, so make sure you take that off, as well as the one on the camera that faces you while you're driving, as well as the one that faces out of the car. What else do we have? There is an accessory box. When we open this up, you will see the USB-C power cable, the mounting suction cup for the camera to go onto the windshield, Looks like a pry bar, so you can run the cable around so it's not just hanging everywhere. What else we got in here? And we have the cigarette lighter adapter to USB-C to power it inside your vehicle. What's nice about this uh, adapter here is there is another USB slot. So when you plug this into your cigarette lighter, if you don't have other USB slots, it gives you one right here so you're not wasting uh, your power for just the camera. And you got a reset pin. And that's everything that's in here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to power this up and see how this whole thing works. Be right back. Okay, so I'm zoomed in on the camera so we can start seeing the screen. I've put the SD card in there, so it's wanting me to format it. If you look here on the top, it says I will get two hours and 44 minutes recording at 2K, and that its microphone is activated, there's an SD card in there, and that the battery is charging. The icon with the camera look and the three on it, that's meaning that it's gonna loop record for three minutes. The shaky symbol with, that looks like a rectangle with some lines by it means that the G sensor is set to low. The picture of the camera on the right hand side, that's showing you that the camera is set for the inside camera to record. So you can see me there in the top corner camera. That is the inside the car camera. And then the symbol underneath it, the one that looks like a shield with a line going through it, that is your timestamp. All right, so if I hit the top button real fast, that does what's called emergency recording. And that just sets it to record. You can see the line on the bottom, the yellow line here, that's going across. That's just doing a quick little record uh, if you hit it again, it does not stop the recording. It's going to finish that record. If you hit the bottom button, that stops it. If you go into the menu, that's where you can set your resolutions, your screen display. 
Um, so you can go full screen with just one camera or you can look at both cameras at the same time. You can set up your loop recordings, your sensors, formatting the SD card, all of the features that you're expecting. And the button on the top and on the bottom is gonna make the uh, selection move around. So I'm hitting the down button and then there's the up button. And if I keep hitting the down, that's gonna take it to the next screen. Now the resolution of the main camera, it came as 2K, but if we uh, select that resolution, we can see that you can actually do 2K from the front, 1080 from the back, or 1080 from the front, and 1080 from the back, or just 2K from the front. Now, as you see, it keeps recording every time I go back out of the menu system. So I'll just hit the OK button to stop it there. Um, if we go through the buttons, there are a couple of different hidden features. So the up button is also the power button if you hold it down long. And if you just hit it once real fast, that remember does the emergency recording. Then you have the down button, which mutes the microphone on and off. And then the okay button takes a snapshot. So if you hit the menu button, it takes you into the menu and back out of it. If you hold it down, this is now where you can view what you've recorded. So we're driving now, trying to test this out. Uh, I am in my van, as you can see. Uh, as a reminder, we are looking at 2K out the front window with a 170 degree angle. And in here where I'm driving, you're getting a 140 degree angle with a 1080p camera. And they are recording at the same time and I'm able to see both on the screen. You're gonna hear a lot of rattling. Um, that is because once again, I am in a van and there's a bunch of stuff in here. Um, I will try to keep the van uh, slow so it won't be as noisy as we uh, drive around. So I'm just gonna drive through this neighborhood here. That way we can see uh, things as it goes by. Hopefully some vehicles will drive by. Here's a person that we're passing right up here. Motorcycle on the other side of the road. So right now I'm driving about 25. As I speed up, it'll get a little noisier in here, but once again, that's the van. Uh, when I go back and listen to the recording, we'll see if it's clear or if it's scratchy. Um, I am mounted directly to the center of my windshield right now about right where the rear view mirror would have been if I still had one installed in here. All right, so I have the camera installed in my car. As a reminder, the front camera is recording at 2K and it's 170 degrees. So you're seeing almost the full left to right of the car from the windshield. And the camera aimed at me is not actually getting all of me in the picture uh, with the camera shooting straight out here. I don't know if it's just too close where I have it on the dash or if it's just not showing me fully in there. Um, I will have to angle this a little bit uh, better. As you can see, if I turn it over here, I'm in the shot, uh, but I will leave it here centered just in case I'm in the shot and it's just not showing it while on the screen. Uh, that is possible because the small screen that's shooting inside, which I forgot to say was 1080 at 140 as a reminder, it is actually just showing a square. So I don't know if it's squishing me or just showing uh, half of it. I can't wait to listen to the recording after I uh, take the SD card out and put it into the computer because uh, I don't know how it's sounding during the recording right now. Also while looking at the screen here, I noticed that the camera shooting out is in color while the camera shooting in here looks to be black and white. And it's going in and out from black and white to color, especially when I move my hand. So I think it is getting pretty dark outside. It's a half hour before sundown. So I think the uh, infrared 
or the night vision is activating on the inside of the car. So I'm guessing the outside and the inside camera have their own sensor for when to turn on night vision. So once again, as I move my hand, it should reset. See, there's color for a split second as it's trying to adjust to be night vision or not night vision. So I went ahead and turned off the night vision, the infrared lights, and you can see that I am now in color and not black and white. Once again, this has been Monkey Man Reviews with the 8-man dual dash cam model C880. If you've used dual dash cams like this before, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe.